morning class. Today we are going to learn subtraction with regrouping. Or in your activity book, it says more subtraction. We will learn more what is the meaning of subtraction with regrouping. First, we see the question here 42 minus 7. See the root minus. What does it mean? Minus means the answer will be come less or is the same meanings of subtract. So now how do we want to find the answer here? First, we have to write the question in written method. Teacher hopes that you understand how to write the number sentence here into written method. When we write into method written method, you have to know the place value of 1 and the place value of 10. So now we want to write the number in the place value 42. Which one is in the place value 1? 42. So 2 is in the place value 1 and 4 will be in the place value of 10 minus this is the symbol of minus 7 7 1 digit this means in the place value of 1 every time we write please remember we start from place value 1 so now how we want to find the, the answer for example, 4 here, we can represent 4 here. Let's value 10. That means we have 4 base, 1 base 10. This one 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, this means place value 10. How many base 10 do we here have? Here, it is 4 because this has Four. This means we have four tens. Okay, four tens. Two ones. So you must have two ones. This means two ones. How we want to minus two minus seven? Here is two. Down here is 7. Is it enough for 2 to take away 7? We can see from your, the multi-purpose line that you have max. For example, we want to take away 2. We start from 2 here. Take away 7. We count 1, 2, 3. Is it enough? No. So we cannot minus. So what should we do? We should take from or we say the word regrouping. Okay? Regroup from place value 10. How do we want to take regroup? We take one here, the stripe base 10, one, we take one here. So it becomes you give to place value 1 here left 3 so here we already have 10 so what should we do this one actually we change into 1 okay the 10 2 3 4 5 So tens one here, when we combine it together with the two, it becomes twelve. Right? Twelve. So now twelve take away seven. Should be enough. We can take away from here also. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
So how many left now? We can count it. One, two, three, four, five. So the answer will be five. Or we can use these to find the answer. Twelve. Take away or minus seven. Start from twelve. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. So what is the answer here? Five. Yes, we get the same answer. Here also five. Even you use this one also, we get the answer. Five. So we write five. Now here it's three. Three minus there is no number here means zero. Three minus zero, we get the same answer. Three. So the answer will be thirty. 35. We see the next question. Minus 8 from 35. What does this question mean? Is it the same with question 1? Definitely not the same because the word minus is in front and we have another word is from. So when you want to write in written method, from mean this is the first num number. We write the place value first. One place value tens. Right. So which number come first? 35. Not this one. Because the word from. This means here first. So 35. Which one is in the place value 1? Yes, 5 is in the place value 1 and 3 is in the place value 10 minus how many? 8. 8 one digit is in the place value 1. We start from place value 1. Then we draw a line, we find the answer. Every time when we want to count, we have to make sure that we count from place value 1 so 3 here also can mean 1 2 and 3 5 here we have 5 1 2 3 5 minus 8 The number is smaller And the other number is 8 So this smaller number cannot minus with the bigger number Or you can check it Either you can minus or not 5 Yeah, we start from 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 Is that enough? Is there any more? There is no more So there is not enough Then what should we do then? We have to regroup from place value 10 So when we regroup We have to cut off number 3 So we take this one 1 10 Okay You must remember when you regroup It's not take 1 but 1 Tens. There are tens here because this is place value tens. So now left how many here? Two. You have two. So one ten here we have to change into tens ones. Okay. So one, two, three.
10. So we take away 1 10, it becomes 10 1. We just change it into 10 1. So now, all together will be 5 and 10 1. Here, all together will be how many? So this is 10 and this is 5. It becomes 15. So the number here, we put 1. 15. So 15 minus here then just now minus 8. Or we say 15 take away 8. So how many should we take away? 8. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then we see how many left here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 left. We can use multi-purpose line to find the answer. 15. Here 15. Take away or minus how many? 8. So take from 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what is the answer here? It's also 7. It's the same. Either you use the picture or you use multi-purpose line. So you will get the same answer. So it's up to you what you want to use to find the answer. Now here, left here, 2. 2 minus with 0. The answer will be true. So this is 27. Remember when the minus word is in front and the word from, so we have to tag the last word to become in front. This one is a direct question. Now we see the example of minus two digits with two digits. We just need to change into return method to find the, the answer. So start from place value once, place value tens. Okay. 53. What is in place value one? Yes, we start from the last digit. 3 is place value one and 5 in place value 10. Minus how many? 18. So the last digit here is 8. So 8 must be in place value 1 and 1 in place value 10. Then we minus. Now, teacher won't use this base 10 anymore. We just use the multi purpose line to find the, the answer. 3 minus 8. We try first 3 here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Is it enough? We don't have. So what should we do when we're not enough? We have to regroup from place value 10. Just now like when 4, take away 1. Here, we take away 1 here, we bring it to place value 1. So here will be 13. 5 minus 1 become 4. 13 minus 8. We use multi-purpose line to find the answer. 13 here. Take away 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what is the answer left? Here, 5. You write the answer, 5. 4 minus 1. Okay, now you can use your fingers also because it's not more than 10. You have 4 fingers, minus 1 means take away 1. So how many left? 3. Oh, you can still use your multi-purpose line here. 4. 
Take away how many? Four, take away one. So the answer will be three. It's the same. So you can choose either to use your fingers or use multi-purpose line to find the answer. Now we see the last question. It's the same. You must know the place value first. Place value once. Place value tens. So 82, which one is in place value once? Start from the last digit 2. We'll go to place value once. 8 will go to place value 10. Remember the symbol minus or subtract. And 14. Start with the last digit from will be place value once and one in place value tens. So now two take away four. Is it enough? We're not sure. We can check. Two. Here. One, two, three. Any more? No more. So that is not enough. What should we do then? We can regroup. So we take from regroups from add. How many should we take? Only one. So we take one. This one becomes seven. No more add. One here, we bring it to place value ten. So just put in front of the number, become twelve. Like I show you just now with the base 10. So now it's 12 minus 4 or 12 take away 4. 12 take away 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So what is the answer left here? 8. The answer will be 8. And then here is 7 minus one. You also can use your fingers. This is five. Another two is seven. Five, six, seven. Minus how many? Minus one. So the answer will be six. Or you can use this one to find the answer also. Seven. Take away one. Take away one. So you get the answer will be six. Then we write here. 6. So we also write the answer here 82 minus 14 is 68. That's all for today. Teacher hope you can understand how to subtract with regrouping. Thank you.